Coverage, Orco Mana live near Big Bend. But first, let's go to Hector Mejia at the shooting with what he's learned. We are still standing by for an update from Metro Police, but they have confirmed the suspect is dead. And right behind me, if you look very closely, you can see Metro Police and crime tape blocking off the parking lot here at the Aquarius Hotel and Casino. Residents from the small community here in Laughlin describe it as a very disturbing scene to see. And earlier this morning, around 7.30 a.m., we even heard what sounded like gunshots, about six or so. And then about an hour later, we saw emergency response teams rushed to the scene here and it's been playing out for almost 12 hours now since metro police first received reports about a man robbing a casino cage around 1 30 this morning the suspect is accused of firing gunshots at aquarius casino security guards during his attempt but he did not hit anyone Police say he then barricaded himself in his vehicle for about seven hours. SWAT teams tried to negotiate with him for several hours, but their efforts ended with gunfire from police. With everything going on, you know, in the United States, with gun violence and everything uh, happening around the world right now, um, for it to be coming to a small community like this, you know, two hours away, for, away from Vegas, it's, it's quite uh, disturbing. The resident who you just heard from, Alberto Vasquez, said one of his relatives is actually staying at the Aquarius. We're told the place was on lockdown and guests were not able to leave during the standoff. And it looks like Casino Drive has reopened, but the investigation continues. We'll have any updates here on 8 News Now. From Laughlin, Hector Mejia, back to you guys.